Christmas is just around the corner and it's this time of year, usually every year, that I like to share something on here that would make the most special, easy Christmas morning breakfast. Now for me, a Christmas morning breakfast is something that is obviously delicious and special, something that you might not make every morning, but also easy or can be prepped ahead of time, ideally, so that way you're not in the kitchen while the kids are opening presents or whatever traditions you may have. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my sourdough bread pudding. This is a new recipe on the blog. It starts with one of my homemade sourdough brioche loaves, which I've shared here on this channel how to make. It's a very simple, easy bread for beginners. All you really need is basic ingredients and a sourdough starter and a mixer. Now what's great about this recipe is you can prepare the bread several days ahead. It does not have to be the sourdough brioche. I do find the best results with that, but you could use week old sourdough French bread or just your basic sourdough loaf, whatever it is you use. This recipe will work for it, but today I am gonna show you with the brioche. It's like French toast casserole, but a bread pudding typically has more milk, less eggs. And I'm gonna to top it with a vanilla glaze sauce and raisins, making it that much more special. I'm starting this recipe by cutting one loaf of sourdough brioche into small cubes. Now, of course, you can use bread that you baked a couple hours ago or day old bread. It actually does tend to soak up the liquid a little bit better whenever the bread's a bit older, but I've also used very fresh bread and that has been wonderful as well. Adding to this medium saucepan three cups milk, a quarter cup of butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, a teaspoon of cinnamon, three quarters cup sugar, and a quarter teaspoon salt. I just want to heat it up until the butter melts and the sugar dissolves, but I don't want it to be so hot that it'll cook the egg, so I don't heat it super long. Preheating my oven to 350 degrees while I prep the rest of this bread pudding. Next, I'm adding four eggs to a bowl that I will scramble and then add in my milk sugar mixture. Again, I pour it in really slowly to make sure that the eggs don't cook. If you do it that way, this in a sense tempers the eggs, but definitely be sure that you're not pouring super hot liquid on the eggs. Once the liquid portion is all incorporated and bubbly, I add in my sourdough brioche cubes and allow it to soak up in the mixture. This is the point that you could put it into a pan and just put it in the fridge with some foil overnight and bake it Christmas morning. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It's the night of the dear Savior's birth. Lonely. The world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. 
I grease the pan with a bit of butter and add my bread mixture. I top it with a half a cup of raisins. I like to spread the raisins out with my hands and press them in so that they sort of bake into the bread pudding. Super delicious that way. On your knees. Oh, he Get my bread pudding in the 350 degree oven, set my timer for 45 minutes, and get working on my vanilla sauce that makes this so comforting. I add to my small saucepan one cup of cream, a half a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and a tablespoon of vanilla. I bring it to a simmer whisking constantly in order to thicken it. Now, if you get it too thick, just add a little bit of milk or cream to thin it back down. If it doesn't get thick enough, you can cook it a little bit longer or add a touch more flour. I've never had to add more flour, so it typically thickens up really well. By light, our stars sweetly gleaming. Here come the wise men from Orient land, the king of kings. Lay thus lowly manger in all our trials, born to be our friend. This truly is the most comforting, delicious, perfect Christmas morning breakfast. It has the balance of being very simple. You could get the bread going a couple days before Christmas or even up to a week before. Get the bread pudding all put together the night before, pop it in the refrigerator, bake it in the morning, top it with your vanilla glaze. If you wanna make the vanilla glaze a day before, you just need to warm it up before drizzling it on because it does thicken once it's cool. Sprinkle with some powdered sugar if you're feeling extra fancy and maybe festive because it kind of looks like snow. I think your whole family will be very pleased with this. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by our farmhouse. Mm -hmm.